2021 was a really great season for us, but now it's 2022 and I'm really excited to start this new season. We have a great team and two great riders. To be honest, I realized much more what happened three months ago right now than when I achieved it. So uh, I feel like I'm, I realized much more the title right now that uh, when I won in Misano. So, of course, uh, is, is really great. But yeah, I'm super focused and determined to, to work on 2022. But of course, uh, last year's feeling brings a lot of motivation. I had time to think a little bit about 2021 and um, yeah, it was uh, complicated, um, many uh, challenges, uh, but I think that uh, um, the worst is, uh, is through now and uh, now it's just a matter of, uh, of getting in, uh, in a good shape and try to um, keep uh, the, the momentum of the recovery that I was able to do this winter and uh, start, start riding again and, and see what happens. Well, yeah, uh, 2021 was a very special year for Yamaha in general, I think. Um, it was our 60th year anniversary in racing, and uh, all around the world we had fantastic results. Um, and that goes for a superbike, for instance. We won in Japan, we won in Britain, we won in Moto America, we won also the World Superbike Championship. Motocross, we won the MX2 class, we won the 450 Outdoor in the States, 250 Supercross. But of course, the most important championship of all is the MotoGP championship. It was six years before that we won the last time, 2015 with Jorge. So to come back to the top um, was really, really rewarding for the team. Um, of course, for the riders, for all of our sponsors and for the Yamaha Motor Group. It was really the, the crown of uh, a fantastic year in general. Well, yes, was uh, a different winter winter break of course a lot of events after the the 2021 title and uh, of course for me it was uh, great because i could of course celebrate really well with the team with my family friends um, but to be honest i never stopped training i never really make break of more than three days so i always been training a lot and um, like i said before for me the motivation of uh, you know, bring and uh, try to, to achieve the same for 2022 is um, 2021 helps me a lot 
to, to believe even more in myself, to be more confident. So of course it um, was a really positive winter break and uh, of course I'm, I'm super ready and I want to, to start as soon as possible. Fabio started uh, last season with a bang. He won the second race of the year and then the third race of the year. And really he was on a roll and on a mission throughout last year. And I think we saw the very best of Fabio last year. He won, he won five races in total throughout the year. But more than winning those races, which of course very important, consistency is super, super important if you want to win the World Championship. So um, I think that Fabio will uh, start this year um, with some weight off of his shoulders because getting that first title is really important for any rider. But once you have it, then that's done. You know you can do it and then you need to do it again. Now doing it again is not easy because you know the level of competition in MotoGP is very, very high. But I don't see Fabio as a rider that takes on board a lot of the pressure, you know. He has fun, he enjoys, he's fast, he works super well with the bike, with his team. So I have high expectations also of, of uh, Fabio this season. Um, we focused a lot on the leg, for sure. We focused a lot on, on the knee. Uh, I spent a lot of time working on that. Um, and also on, on, other, on others, uh, other areas of, of the body. But uh, the main area was, uh, was the knee and the left leg. Um, it was, it was, uh, yeah, uh, it was tough because um, also I couldn't ride the bike. I, I still cannot ride a bike, so I'm just, just going at the gym and, uh, and working on, on, on my physical condition. Uh, but I hope to, to be able to ride soon. And um, yeah, it has been a, a tough but nice uh, winter. Mi sono allenato in vacanza. Bene, bene, bene. E... Sta settimana è stata piena in realtà, bella piena. Ho fatto il filming, però anche sta settimana mi sono allenato. Si sono sei riuscito a allenare anche su in palestra? Sì. Quando eri a Milano? Sì, sì, mi sono allenato, mi sono allenato bene. Uh, Franco had a pretty tough 2021 season. Um, which was unexpected because in 2020, Franco actually finished in second place in the World Championship and was really fighting for the championship until the very, the very last race of the year. That was in the, the first COVID year, as we call it, when there were 14 races. Um, so when we started last year, then, you know, Franco's expectations were higher, but he had this uh, knee injury. He had this leg injury, which was not through MotoGP, through an uh, off-road training accident. And that really um, cast his season last year into, into difficulty. And he decided to take the operation mid-season. So he missed several races last year um, and really came back when he entered the Monster Energy Yamaha MotoGP team um, mid-season. That was basically in Misano when he started the last part of the season. But it was not easy for him because he still while he could ride the bike, he was not 100% with his leg. And so it was more of a, I would say, as an early start for 2022 season. So I'm really hoping that uh, Franco will be fully recovered. 
I know he's in pretty good shape. He's been training throughout the winter and he's quite confident. So I hope he will run a really good season and we will see the true potential of Franco again, which we've already seen in the previous seasons. He has a very smooth riding style um, and that riding style should match really, really well the M1. So I have high expectations for Franco this, this season. Voglio vedere adesso cosa succede quando risalirò in moto. E comunque voglio risalire ecco, prima di, di, di andare a fare i test. The winter tests are always very, very important and this year even more because uh, it's going to be a back-to-back -back test uh, before first in Malaysia and then in Indonesia. In Malaysia is the first opportunity for the rider to get back on their bike after the winter break. And then also they mainly use this to get back their speed and start testing a new bike and, and test new, new components. But in my opinion, the most important test will be the one we will do in Indonesia, because uh, the Mandalika circuit is uh, completely new for, for the MotoGP and there is where we really need to gather as much as information as possible, especially because uh, the Mandalika GP is going to be early in the calendar this year. The main area to improve the performance of the M1 is the top speed. We need to increase it because uh, last year we suffered it uh, quite, uh, quite a lot. And uh, this area is where all uh, the engineers in Japan are really uh, focused uh, on, on it. Not only uh, with the engine, but also studying a different uh, aerodynamic, uh, trying to improve uh, the rear grip, the acceleration, always with the aim to gain some top speed at the end of the straight. During this uh, winter time in, uh, in Japan, they really work hard. They are uh, preparing a lot of material and um, we are really ready to, uh, to test all these uh, new components uh, starting from uh, tomorrow. With this, uh, uh, during these two, two days here in, uh, in Sepang. Yeah, indeed, there will be a few changes this year. Um, let me start from the top down. So, um, at the top of our project, uh, we have uh, the former. Uh, project leader and GP support um, leader, Mr. Sumi, has been promoted to be general manager of uh, YMC Motorsports Development Division. So this is um, a just reward for him having achieved the championship last year to step up to the general manager level. So he will be replaced at project leader level and GP support level by Mr. Seiki. So uh, Seiki-san will be attending every single race and will be leading the team of engineers at all the tracks next year. In addition to that, we have a change in the crew chief. So uh, Frankie will have a new crew chief for next year. Uh, we saw him with us at the very end of last season and that will be Patrick Primer. And uh, Patrick uh, joins because, as you re recall, last year we had a rider change and a crew chief change in the middle of the year. So Silvano Galbozera was taking care um, for last year, in particular for Frankie. Um, Silvano will now return to the testing team activities and Patrick will join us as crew chief. Apart from that, we have all of the rest of our crew uh, will remain pretty much constant. So uh, we have a strong team from last year with a few adjustments. So I think we'll be in good shape. The motivation are uh, very, very high. The general uh, um, atmosphere or morale of the team is, uh, is very good and uh, as a team director I couldn't ask for more and we really can't wait to, to start racing in Qatar in one month time.
I don't consider it like a team. I consider it like my family. I spend much more time with them than my dad or my mom. So I consider it like like a real family. And um, to be honest, last year was the first year where um, both sides of the garage were really feeling like, like a proper team and a proper family. Uh, of course, on my side, I spend much more time with, with them because uh, I'm with my crew chief, uh, Diego, with my engineer, Pablo. Uh, we spend a lot of hours together to try to figure out which point we can improve or which problem we had. And um, then, of course, we have the Japanese engineer that has always a lot of things to do, but we always keep a funny relation also with them. Uh, my mechanics that I have, Bernie, Achim, Daniele, Mark, uh, and of course we have uh, our Olins, Olins guys, uh, Michelin, but I would say that the atmosphere on the team is super special and uh, when we need to work hard, everybody is super serious and, and working like hell. But as soon as the work is finished, uh, we are for sure the team that is having uh, much, much more fun than, than the others. And this is something that for me is really important. Uh, when you finish the work, you don't need to be serious. I always like to laugh with the team, make jokes. And uh, all the team is a little bit like that. So it's a, a funny way to say that you are working, but at the end you are having a lot of fun. Um, and that for me is, uh, is something super special that when you are on the bike, you are focused, you need to be the first, you need to be the fastest. But as soon as you finish, you need to enjoy. Uh, and for me, the team is, the spirit of the team is like that. So I think that on that way, all the people working there are, um, are feeling like, like home. So um, I had the chance now to uh, know better uh, the people inside the team. Um, and uh, the, my crew, but also the, all the people uh, inside uh, YMR. And um, I, found, I found myself uh, there at ease, uh, because um, first of all, I knew uh, some people uh, from uh, back in time, because uh, with Vale, uh, I was able uh, to know a lot of people inside Yamaha. So when I finally uh, arrived in the team, um, I, found, I found myself already in an environment that I knew. And um, there are many Italian person, very many Italian people inside the team. And uh, that's feel, that feels nice. Uh, uh, but also, um, uh, the all the all the people inside inside YMR. Um, I don't know be, if if it's because of uh, um, of the nature of of the um, the factory, but um, the the um, the air that you breathe is really nice and it's really um, relaxed. And uh, it's re it's really mm, uh, happy at the same time. For sure, they all all the people in Yamaha should be happy because they won the title last year. But it's not just because of that. Is uh, I feel that I know them since a lot of time now, and I feel that uh, it's a uh, it's um, it's a characteristic of of uh, of the factory. I don't know. Um, I just know that uh, I always found myself very, very at ease with the Yamaha people. Um, and also uh, with the test crew, uh, with Galbi, with Silvano, I had a chance to work with him. Um, I found myself uh, uh, very, very well. Um, I felt very good working with Silvano. And um, after, when I started working with, uh, with Patrick, uh, uh, I kept uh, sharing infos with Silvano. 
um, but also with the other side of, of the crew, uh, with Diego, Pablo, I know them uh, now since uh, quite some time. So um, the atmosphere inside the team is really nice. It's really um, relaxed, professional at the same time, but, but relaxed. Well, we are very happy to have uh, such a strong uh, rider lineup this year. And if uh, one of them will try to do his best to replicate the 2021 season, the other one has to have his revenge after a really tough uh, uh, season. Yeah, you know, every every season you you start, you know, and I know it's a kind of a something that everybody says, but the facts are everybody starts with zero points. So um, really every new season is a new story, a new chapter, a new episode. And um, so you go into it uh, trying to be as best prepared as you can. But you never know until you've got the first test done, until you arrive at the first race. What is our level? You know, how are we going to be next year? How will our competitors be? But really, as uh, I think our team has uh, proven um, to be very, very competitive. And last year, winning the championship, uh, winning six races last year. So um, I really believe we have a great potential this year. Um, the best objective I could wish for is a one and two in the championship. Uh, very difficult because the level of competition is super high. You know, again, six factories are going to be there. There's a lot of factory riders there and the season is very long. 21 races, everything can happen. But um, I go into it with confidence and uh, our mission is to try to win both the riders and the constructors and the team's prize. Not easy, but we're going to give it our best shot and see what we can do. Well, it'll be, it'll be important to, to be fast and to be able to ride for top positions and uh, maybe at the end of the championship uh, be able to, to fight for something important uh, at the end of the year. That's, that's uh, the main target, um, to get, get the right speed back and get the right shape back and uh, try to, to match uh, Fabio's speed, which is always uh, at the top. Try to match that and try to uh, make some good races and some good results. It's difficult to know who will be the main rival or rivals because when you are in the preseason, you never know who is going to make a big step or who uh, is going to have a better package or better combinations. So, of course, it's difficult to know, but your first rival is your teammate, of course. And then, like last year, you know that uh, Peko was, was super strong at the end of the year. Um, Juan Mir also was, was really fast. Uh, but, you know, there is a lot of riders. Uh, Franco, Miller, uh, Rins, uh, Mark. You, you can't forget these guys and until the season starts and you make a few races, you can't really know who will be the, the biggest rival, but I already have enough of myself like trying to be on top, so I will focus on, on myself and don't really look uh, on the side. I'm really excited about 2022 season coming up. We're going to be coming in as the defending champions. Everyone's going to be coming after us, but I know Frankie and Fabio is going to be ready and up for the challenge. So guys, get on your leathers and let's jump on those M1s. Oh, 
of course is a really special bike for for me really like of course the the shape the new the new colors these two years that i'm with the factory yamaha and i think is uh the nicest bike um when i think about the bike I, when i think about the yamaha the first thing that pops in my mind is um, gentleness really nice mellow and smooth uh, i really like this thing about uh, the yamaha During the last two years, the bike changed a lot on technology. I mean, we have a lot of more things, a lot of buttons. I would say that now is more like kind of a rocket than, uh, than a bike. I really like um, how the bike looks. Um, so I really like the colors, how personally I like how the green works with the blue. To see the exhaust just coming back from from the bottom of the bike, you can't really see. I think is super nice. Every detail for sure, every detail on the bike is spot on. If you look at every uh, small detail on the bike is uh, at the top level. Uh, to see the combination of your number plus the design of, of the bike uh, is, is super special and, and, and I love it. I, I like it, I like it, I just like it. Good job guys. I look forward to seeing you soon on track together with the whole team to start this new season. <laughs>